What up everyone, it's Geertan Singh and I'm here with a movie review. Yes, I'm actually reviewing a movie today, a uh, Punjabi movie, Shinda Shinda no Papa. This movie just came out recently and I thought it was a good movie, like people definitely enjoyed it. People were laughing, people were getting emotional, um, but I just think it had room to be so much more. So the movie itself is uh, following uh, Shinda, who is a Canadian-born Punjabi. Sikh and um, his dad uh, when he was growing up in India uh, used to get beaten up a lot um, and not just by you know parents friends like people out there in the world kind of thing um, and he never hit, raised his hand on his son Shinda uh, when they were in Canada and everything as such. Shinda starts having an attitude and then so what Gippy Ghetto while the dad does is take him to Punjab to try to show him okay he's actually got it really good uh, not getting beaten up but then what Shinda ends up doing is leading a revolution so that our parents no longer beat their children. That's obviously this wholly exaggerated story and everything like that, but it's still an entertaining story which plants a lot of seeds, which I think could have really given it the, you know, a push to make it a really good film. If they filmed this, not as, you know, this comedy, feel good movie kind of thing, but if they actually treated it like a serious topic, this movie could have been really really good. It has a lot of sets, setups and not a lot of payoffs. It's very interesting because I think Shinda himself as a character is very flawed and they do this weird thing in this movie where they make him out to be innocent and good and all right like in what he does. Um, at no point does he really feel the ramifications for what he does and I know that's I know obviously he gets injured in it, his dad gets injured in it and they have this whole thing where they kind of make up and they're fine with it because they realize that they two really care for each other and everything. Uh, but in the end, what people keep telling Shinda is that he's right in what he does. Um, there is one point where the mom tells him you, she, he did, Shinda did just as bad things as the dad but then in the next scene there's a dance sequence and then the mom's dancing with the son and the son's still ignoring the dad and all these kind of things and you it, you know that it just by the way it's done you just don't feel like i didn't feel like shinda really felt responsible for his actions and i say his actions because one thing that happens is shinda keeps taking like i feel like he's taking advantage of his dad because the dad doesn't raise his hand on shinda and instead he sometimes glares at him or he says to other people oh yeah i gave him a good beating all this kind of stuff because he feels like that's what he needs to keep up with those people um, that he talks to um, but he never raises his hand and it's, for some reason Shinda keeps calling the police on him so then he keeps getting arrested um, and with, because he's staring at his kid, he's making threats even though those threats are in past tense, not in future tense um, but then Shinda also then get, feels ashamed of himself because he looks ashamed every time his mum comes into bail at his dad he always looks, oh no, his mum's here, all this kind of stuff and I don't get how the mom keeps thinking Shinda's in the right. She says she never hears, like, sees the stuff happens and always hears about it. But it's just like, you married the guy, you kind of hope that you would either have this talk with him or have some family discussion at this point because it seems to be going on forever. Shinda just doesn't feel the repercussions. Even when he's talking to his grandfather, the grandfather's like, you've done nothing wrong, Shinda. And it's like, no, he has done stuff wrong. He's like clearly taking advantage of the situation his father's been in. He's mentally torturing his dad by saying you're staring at me this way you're staring at me this way you can't do that I'm gonna call the police on you you're gonna go to jail you gotta you gotta you, like you can't be this all along with it you gotta be a bit like a bit more strong where you're just like he looked at me weird but he's not doing anything what did you do to kind of get him to be like that you know and they don't show it purposely and then even when He's got an attitude with him when the dad's trying to get him to go to India and he's got a real attitude and obviously the dad's not right because the dad's trying to get him to go to India so he can see kids get beat up but it's still like I don't see at any point where Shinda is this innocent kid at the same time I don't fully see a point where the dad is innocent as well like I see both on good, good on both sides and also bad on both sides but the movie keeps trying to say that Shinda is good, Shinda is right. But then one other thing with the movie itself is that Shinda and other kids in Canada are set up to not want to be Punjabi or not want to explore their culture of their parents and other generations. Um, they say they, they use Indian as an insult to other people. Uh, they say that they're Canadian, that's their culture. And it's such an interesting kind of topic to bring up because it's like, yeah, sure, you're born in Canada, but you know, you, 
like you just we're just openly accepting the fact that he's not going to accept his Punjabi culture even when they say we're going to introduce him to Punjabi culture they're referring to the idea that children can get beaten up and scolded as such but I found that interesting because they kind of say we're going to teach him about culture and they kind of let it be and they never really resolve it as far as I can tell from the movie itself Shinda goes back to Canada not wanting to still be a Punjabi or be in touch with his family's culture and here's the other thing as well so they have Gippy like I said as the bad guy but Here's the thing, he never hits his kid. So Shinda, I can't see why Shinda would treat him so poorly. Yes, Gippy's trying to do, manipulate the, him to you know, see how bad stuff can be and how much worse Gippy had it. But Shinda just doesn't, we don't see him actually do anything really bad directly to Shinda. The same way we never see um, the mom really take much you know, to do with this relationship. It's so weird, at one point, Shinda literally tells an air stewardess that the dad is making him feel uncomfortable and he wants to move and the stewardess lets it be and it's like you publicly just got told uh that you know your son says he feels uncomfortable around you the stewardess doesn't really react much to it just shows him a different seat um and then what does gippy do look at his wife and then dream about her and it's so uncomfortable and weird and then yes shinda does feel a little bad because he thinks oh, okay the dad's really sad um and it's just because his, like the grandfather's sick and it just shows this potential for them to actually be good people together but then why aren't they like that normally? You gotta show normal life without this whole like oh look it's funny the dad's going to prison it's funny oh later on it's weird they do try to treat like child abuse and like scolding your children as a serious topic but then in the movie the number of times they make a joke about hitting your children and they're like okay then well, come on, Jelly. Let's go to this room over here. Whack, whack. Ah, uh, laugh, laugh. Okay, Jelly, you're not telling the truth anymore. I will ask you another question and you're saying nothing. Let's go over here. Whack, whack. And people are laughing. And it's so insane to me. It's like, oh, I'm trying to say this is a seriously bad thing, but then you're treating it as a joke as well. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You gotta, that's why I say if they took out the jokes, if they took this movie more seriously, it would be great. If they filmed it differently, like they had the potential for it because they also showed like they like one of the games they talked about is where you pile up this the chapel and like kids try to get it while other person defends it, um, the pile of um, slippers. And they basically kind of did like a little um, play on that when all the kids kind of said, we're not going anywhere. We're not going to let our the parents scold us like this and they throw their chapel or their sandals and shoes in a pile in front of the police station you are like okay cool there you go we have the potential I'm, I'm assuming they knowingly did this where they set up okay here's a game that Punjabi kids play here's them kind of using that same concept in justice for themselves uh, against being scolded physically and it's really good like that but uh, that's the thing it's there's this one moment where they show it they just needed that for the whole movie. And it's not to say that the movie doesn't work entirely. Uh, there was this really great moment after the film where a family came out, mom, husband, and, a da and their daughter. Um, and the daughter said to the dad, uh, let me, I have the exact quote here. That's the first time I've seen you cry as they walked out of the cinema. And then the dad was wiping away a tear and everything. And it's like, damn, okay, yeah. So people have, you know, gotten some benefits out of this movie. They did enjoy it. They did feel like, okay, yeah, this is a good movie. They related to it and it's great. And I love seeing that, but it just has the potential to be so much more. All right, cool. Here's one other thing I'll talk about. So the Sapanch and all like the, um, when they have the committee meeting and everything, they're like, Gippy, we don't want you here. You're a bad influence. Uh, you're changing our culture, all this kind of stuff. And they treat it as this serious thing. They don't like him. But for some reason at the end of the movie, when Gippy then says, this is bad stuff, we shouldn't do this. Now they're all like, we'll listen to him. He's a good guy. It's just like, where was this 360 come from? Now you guys liked him. Now all of a sudden you believe him and agree to him. What's the difference? He got injured. Great. His injury made him better somehow. No, it doesn't. He actually got to boot after these things and have it happen. But then speaking of the injury itself, I find it, this is where, like I say, they have good writing where they plan something earlier and then they kind of, you know, carry on with it later. Um, they showed another one of that where they had the kid who fell off the roof when he was playing with the kite because he was afraid his dad was going to hit him. Yeah, the kid gets injured and he gets his permanent injury and it's like, wow, okay, yeah, it's, you know, it kind of proves to the other kids, jelly and stuff that, wow, you can't actually properly have some side effects from 
um, being scolded like this. What I do want to mention is that at one point there's a kid um, who gets hit slapped by his dad because he's riding his bike on the road and the dad almost hits him and he's like I told you not to ride your bike on the road hits him and stuff like that and later on in the movie Shinda riding his bike on the road gets hit by a car which also just drives off which I found really funny that in the background you can just see the car drive off while Shinda's on the floor um, and yeah so Shinda gets hit by a car for riding his bike on the road and it's interesting because the this the moment the scene earlier where the boy gets slapped by his dad for doing that that boy never got seriously injured and hospitalized and but he's the one who got you know scolded by his dad but for Shinda a boy who has never been scolded by his dad is then hit by a car for doing the same thing that the scolded boy was and this time Shinda has a serious injury like he he's fine later on but he's you know the sakuragi and everything and he's bleeding all this kind of stuff and it has repercussions because of it it just didn't really make sense in that way you should have had it where whatever Shinda did um, it happened better for him because he wasn't scolded the same way that the other kid was even though they both did the same thing it's the scolding which makes the difference not just luck I guess um, and it's yeah it's interesting like that because I think that's that just made me just not find it emotional when Shinda got injured because I was like it, it does, uh, kid what? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, it doesn't work with what the story is already established with other characters yeah so Jelly was a good kid actor Shinda is not so great a kid actor and he's good, he's good in some stuff but in other scenes I was just like he, he just feels like he's trying too hard or, like it's kid actor so you don't expect him to be amazing but when you have him next to the actor for Jelly I don't know his name but the kid actor for Jelly was really fun and entertaining uh, Shinda just didn't really feel like he was always in the right he just feel, still felt like an annoying little brat to me uh, where it's like his dad looks at him and he's like I'm calling the police and I'm like you can't be you could, that's what no you can't be like that you had to have Gippy be one that's physical with Shinda so we can feel more connected and feel more sorry for Shinda when he's doing all these things to kind of lead a revolution where it's like he's been through this before and he's gotten through it and now he's helping other people that are still suffering get through it that's how it should be that's how you make a leader not someone that's never been a part of it and then kind of you know leads a revolution because he doesn't really understand what those kids are going through he can be told it but because he doesn't experience it he doesn't really understand he's at it really good in Canada Heck, he uses Indian as an insult. He, all those people there, he uses what they are as an insult in Canada and he doesn't want to be like them. But he comes to India, he comes to Punjab and he's like, yeah, I can lead you guys, I can be good here. Yeah, yeah, that's just a little thing there. It's, I think this movie was good. It's like a six out of 10, but it's just, if you just tackle it differently and you fix up the writing here and there, acting overall is great. You know, like Gippy probably did one of his best performances that I've seen recently. Um, and yeah, the dan like the songs were good, everything was great. Just you just gotta fix it up, polish it up, and I think it would have been really great. And it has the potential for greatness, and I think it does open up a lot of discussions. So the discussions that can come from this movie are great, or it can kind of just help continue because it's like ongoing discussions about how you treat your child, how you scold them, how you're meant to do that. Yes, it's all personal to whatever family it is but the overall sense where you shouldn't just hit them every single time the same way this movie kind of depicts it as a joke um where jelly keeps getting hit caught up by his dad and then hit even though he did the right thing you know that stuff isn't acceptable and yeah like i said the movie just needs to not glorify it in a joking way at the same time try to treat it like something's bad so i'm gonna probably just keep talking so i'm gonna end this here this is my review of uh, shinda shinda no papa solid entertaining movie 6 out of 10 but had the potential had the seeds for greatness and i feel like if we can water those seeds and make that plant grow we can have punjabi movies which are like seriously serious contenders for like some of the uh best movies from you know india and all those woods that we have you know all the kind of india cinema that we have so yeah thanks for watching everyone until next time i'll see you